charging, no fast charging, just plain Jane straight up charging. The iPhone 7 doesn't have a headphone jack. Yeah, it only has a lightning connector where you charge your phone. They're going to give you a dongle that you can plug in your regular headphones. But on the actual iPhone 7... Jack, that's where I think you're wrong. Apple have revolutionized the industry in the past, and I'm sure they're going to do it again. I bet you within three months, no one will even remember that they were there in the first place. Plus, there are many other options if you're if you want to buy a new phone. But if you bought into Apple products, I feel sorry for you because this is how they are. They don't like third-party companies. But thank you for giving us your opinion, Jack. Have a good one. If you just tuned in, I feel sorry for you as I'm just about to introduce our last caller. On tonight's discussion, we've been listening to your opinion about the new iPhone 7. So hello caller, who am I speaking with? Uh, hi, this is Ben. Welcome Ben, so what do you think about Apple's latest flagship phone? I'm sorry Dan, but I'm here to talk about you because you happen to be on my special list. Oh, looks like we have another heckler. Haven't had you in a while. Go on, tell us about your list. I'll give you two minutes. See Dan, I really like your podcast you've got going on here. I mean, the things you've achieved in the broadcasting industry aren't bad. I mean, you've, you have 100,000 listeners tuning in every week. You are the largest technology podcast. And technically, you are internet famous. But you prefer not to show your face because of your own privacy. And also, by promoting your charity Care A Lot, you raise just over £25,000 every single month. Thanks for the love, Ben, but... I can read my own Wikipedia page myself, thank you. Yeah, but see, here's the thing. I don't like you very much. You have done some bad things, Dan. <laughs> I've done bad things? Yeah, okay, this is the fire we're all looking for. Please continue. Yeah, see, what your audience doesn't know is that every donation that they have ever sent off to Carolot went straight into your personal bank account. What are you trying to say here? Are you accusing me of fraud? No. <laughs> I'm accusing you of so much more than just four, Danny. Okay, we've had enough of this lunatic. <laughs> you can't get rid of me that easily, Dan. See, I hacked into your home network a couple months ago to do a little research on you for a reason I'll get to soon. But by monitoring your network, I found out you had a podcast. So I started listening to it while monitoring your internet connection. And I found out that every single penny that your audience has spent went straight in your pocket. Why are you doing this? I, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about, because what do you do with 25 grand? Well, that brings me to the reason why I'm here in the first place. Here, take a look at this clip. Do you remember this, Danny? Do you? Because I do. I've had nothing to do with this. 54 people died on that train, including my little nine-year-old sister. And with the money that you ripped off of thousands of people, you supplied the C4 that detonated on that train that day. Please stop. I can, um, I can pay you the money. But see, I don't care about money. Money won't give me back my sister. I made a list of every person involved with that attack that day. And you are the next person on that list. There's no way out of this, Dan. You're trapped. You can't run. You can't hide. I just transported it. I didn't know what it was. Please don't. You'll ruin me. This world will soon be a better place. When I started this call, Danny, I sent an anonymous tip to the local special forces of your location. It takes them between two and five minutes to reach your front door. If you're lucky, they will break down the door with the weapon safety turned on. It's my time to go. Goodbye, Danny. Enjoy your justice. Please, no. Don't do this!